So in this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the DJI Mimo app. I have my DJI Osmo Action 5 here. I'm going to do a screen share on my phone. I'm going to show you exactly how to use the app. So obviously before we do anything, you need to download the DJI Mimo app from the Google Play Store or your Apple App Store. Once you have that, you're going to go ahead and open it. And we're also going to go ahead and turn our DJI camera on. Okay, we're powered up now. Then you want to going to go ahead and join the DJI Mimo network. So it's going to connect to your camera. Let's give it a second to connect. I was sipping my coffee while I'm waiting. Okay, so once it's connected, my my screen has gone straight to the media that's already on my camera. So from here, you can select which media you want to pull into the app to edit. So we're just gonna select a small few clips now, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So if you wanna, you can literally use the tick at the top of the right hand screen, and you can batch select. So I like doing this. So I just tick the, the videos that I want. So we will just select two. And let's just select three short ones for now. And then we can click the bottom arrow, which then downloads the files. So this actually downloads the files to the app. And then from there you can edit them and you can then create an edit in the app and then download to your phone. So, well, that's just downloading. I'll just give you a quick tour of the app. So this is the home screen and you can see it's almost like a social media platform that DJI have built. So there's like all sorts of things going on here. We've got news from new products, but we've also got the Academy, which is, I mean, if we click into it, there's 15 courses here, which is just literally video guides of how to use the camera. So first use, system settings. And it's, this is actually all linked to the camera I'm using. So you'll, you'll notice these are all Osmo Action 5 tutorials, which is pretty sick. And then it gives you some more detailed how-to tutorials, which is really great. And you can start one of those tutorials and just go through that. And it'll even give you a bar at the top showing you how far for each course you've done. And then you can click into the Osmo Action 4 as well. So I think that actually relates to the, I, I've already connected an Osmo Action 4 to this app before. So I'm thinking it's probably shown me that because it knows I have connected that in the past. You can also buy stuff from DJI store here if you choose to. Uh, some different types of shot guides. So if you want to get a specific type of shot in like a seaside or in a city or any food videos, they have like actual shot guides of how to do them. So it really does show you how to get the most out of your camera. It's like a real interactive app. Then we have other people's videos on here, which is also cool. Guess for inspiration and what this camera can actually do. Um, but if we go over to our editor, the bottom right here, you'll see the editor. And I'm going to show you how to edit on here. So we're going to click new project. And you should see it'll come with my footage. Let's just reselect these videos again. So let's get a short one just so it's not. Let's get that one. And next. And then it will load your video into the editor system. Just give me a little tip on the screen here as well. Go to edit to extract video clips. Okay. And it does actually give you an on-screen tutorial. Like I've actually not really used this editor much. I usually edit on a different software, but because I don't edit much on this, it's obviously given me tutorial. So you can, we have the screen at the top, which is our frame. And at the bottom, we have our timeline, which we can scrub through just using a finger. And it feels really intuitive. So we can click and drag here, pull the time in. I was actually on a motocross bike here, yeah, this is a new toy. And we can play around with the different bits of footage so we can cut the clip. So you can slide to select the length of your clip. You can add a transition by tapping between the two clips. See there's like a circle there with a black mark around it and then you can select what type of cut you want so you can have blurs dissolves all sorts of different 
transitions. I actually just like quick cuts to be honest here, but that's just me personally. Um, you can add music as well in here, so if you already have music in your library, you can add that, and it will also recommend music on here. So it is almost like a little app in itself, like a social media app. Um, we've got effects. So those are actual music effects, so that's pretty damn cool. So it is like a full-on editing platform in here. You can apply filters as well. So if you want to tweak your footage and make it look a little bit more like something you've seen or like a certain environment, you can do that. It gives you all sorts down there to play with. Then we can add text on here. So if you want to add text, we can add text. We can move it around. We can adjust the length of the text in our video. It's actually a really good app this. It's actually one of the better apps I've used. Actually really impressive. Stickers, if you want to add stickers. I, I don't really add stickers, but you can add stickers that people have either created or from DJI themselves if you want to add a logo on there. I'm not sure why you want to do that though. Ruins the footage. But once you're happy with your video and you've played around with it, you've got it exactly how you want, we can export it and save it to our phone. So at the top right here, you can decide whether you want to upload at a different resolution and you can also choose your frame rate but I personally would upload probably at the highest quality and I would just choose the frame rate that you shot the video at in the first place so if you shot at 30 frames a second then just choose 30 frames a second um, 60 recommends the best experience and 30 is the default and it'll give you the estimated size on the phone as well which is good I mean you just want to hit export okay so once it's done that you then have the option to share it to social media if you want, or you can just click done, and then you're back to your main screen here. Now another thing here is that we can use the app to remotely control the camera, which I really like and I use a lot. So when I've got my camera set up for mountain biking on my chest or my helmet, I like to use um, the, 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 the screen a uh, little live view if you like to, to set up my camera to make sure well, that's my setup right now look probably looks a bit weird but I actually like it to to make sure my shot is set up correctly and on here like we literally have a number of different options when it comes to setting up the camera and it's basically the same as your as your camera this but it's actually on your phone which is really really useful Again, I use this a lot. We can set all this resolution up, the frame rate. It just gives you a little bit more of a dynamic experience and it's, it can be a lot easier than like detaching the camera from the magnetic mount and playing around on the screen. And if you've got gloves and things on and the camera's not easy accessible, this is like really useful. So we'll come back out of this. And then you can also set up your profile as well. So if you want to you know, add some more details about yourself and your profile, you can do that. And then we can go into albums here and you'll notice this is where you will find all the footage that is currently on your camera, the stuff that you've downloaded and also the stuff that you've saved to your phone as well. So you can access it all. It's all like cached and saved now. So if you do make a mistake and delete it, it's all already in there, which is really cool. But I think this is one of the best apps for action camera video editing. Now, obviously you can only use this with a DJI camera, but I think that DJI have done a bloody good job of putting this together to make it so so much more like other editing apps like CapCut, like even Final Cut Pro, all these fancy tools, but they've put it inside their own app, which I think is really brilliant because it, it just it's an easier experience for me. It's an easier experience for any beginner using one of these cameras who just literally wants to get their footage off the camera and onto the video. And one thing I didn't actually mention before is that on the editor, we can do this thing called one tap edit. So let's just try that. So select at least five clips for best results. So let's just grab one, two, three, four, five. I've clicked five random clips. It's telling me to stay on the screen here. It's analyzing the files now. So I'm guessing this is some sort of AI 
editing software that's built in. And I'm hoping it's gonna pick out the best parts from my clips and stitch them together in a little cool edit. Now, sometimes this might not work as well as you want, but if you literally just wanted a quick edit or wanted a good starting point for a video, this could be really useful. Save you a lot of time as well. That's a cool feature that you may want to explore and play around with, but there's all sorts of different templates in terms of music and what it recommends. You can edit it from here as well. So if you want to make some final tweaks, you can click edit and you can, you can go into there and edit that. Edit more. So it's real counterintuitive, the app. And I think they've done a really good job in making it easier for beginners, but then also giving more advanced people tools to create a really professional video or photo or just an editing platform for us to use and get the, the outcome we want. Because there's nothing worse than having to transfer videos from place to place and not getting what you want and being disappointed or it being too confusing. This really does have it all. And I think it's one of the simplest apps to use. So I hope this tutorial was useful for you. And if you've got any questions about the DJI Mimo app or uh, DJI's cameras or any other action camera actually, uh, check out the other videos on my channel and leave a comment below and go and check out one of these two videos next.